Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter tabletop game project every weekday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and sometimes even typically adjust the green screen behind me before I sit down. But today, I am actually legitimately very excited to be checking out the third most popular project on Kickstarter games right now. It just launched earlier to this today. It is Saw the Jigsaw Trials. Now, I am a diehard Saw fan. Uh, I've seen... Every single one of them, including the newest ones, I, I remember when I was a teenager, I saw it at the movie theaters. Yo, yo, Mr. Steven. So I'm very excited about this. I'm going to just speculate in my head that this is probably going to be an escape room style game, because, you know, duh, that kind of makes sense. But we'll see. Saw, the Jigsaw Trials, try to hold your limbs in a new tabletop game based on the Saw film franchise. So immediately, I think this main image is just it's boring, it's generic, it's bland, it could be so much better. Hey, here's a box, here's some blood. I want more. Player length, time count, age. I love the fact that I can see it on the box, but then you're not going to actually tell me here. Instead, you're just going to have a wall. I'd love to know the mechanisms of the game. Is it an escape room style game? That just makes sense. Or did you completely reinvent the wheel here? Is this work placement? Is this a 90-minute dry euro? There's so much you could let me know here, and you were just like, nah, we'll just have this picture of blood. So, main image, not a great start. It's looking like one of those intellectual properties where are like, hey, we got that thing you want, so just throw money at us. It's a 30 to 90 minute one, two to six players, ages 18 plus. All right. As always, when you get in the video, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Let's go. 120, short and sweet. Saw the Jigsaw Trials is a two to six player competitive game where you must gather tools and try to keep hold of your limbs in a trap-building fight for survival. Okay. You have been captured by Jigsaw as potential candidates to become his successor. But first, you must survive his trials. Okay, I do like how we're showcasing those components there. It's very interesting. So it looks like we're potentially going to get mutilated as we progress through the game, lose blood, lose limbs. Cool. I actually really like this shot right now. His trials. Combine parts. Now, is this th uh, do these asymmetrical aside from these numbers here? Because that's that's like the that's the lowest form of asymmetry is just like oh you have different attributes. I'm wondering if this is actually uh, asymmetrical or if it's just flavor. Hello, Thomas. I want to play a game. Ever since you had a computer, you've been a skilled hacker, easily making your way into the digital lives of anyone you wanted to inspect. It wasn't long before you discovered the profit in extorting the information of those who wanted. Uh, so yeah, it's just it, okay. Got it. Ooh, mechanism, object, escape. Those are really nice holders. Combine parts to build over 2,000 traps. I like how these cards come together. That's uh, that's really nice. I like that. I've not done an escape room, but I did get locked in a teacher's lounge while watching the grounds during the summer. <laughs> Four-piece jigsaw. That's too many pieces for me to puzzle out. Each with a unique story I like the two and challenge. Okay. I like the cards. Use search items to find the tools to escape or locate special cards that give you an edge over your opponents. Use when setting a trap to sacrifice types change. Okay. All right. Watch your character take damage with a unique jigsaw system. Beware. Take too much and you could lose your limbs completely. To survive his trials, you will need to be as good at creating his traps as you are at escaping them. Only the last survivor will be worthy of taking the name Jigsaw. Let the game begin. Okay, 30 to 90 minutes. That's a very wide, wide count. Um, after the video, I, I don't... Let I'll give you my honest first impressions. I wanted to like it more. I'm a giant Saw fan. I'm a giant board game enthusiast. And it's, it's, it looks, it looks fine. Um, so it's already raised, let's see, 40,000 euros of its 10,000 euro goal. So it is going to happen. Uh, a team of driven board game fans with a passion for movies and pop culture. A diverse team has a wide range of skills, including product development. Pop so this is really, honestly, for me, what it's going to hinge on. This is their third created game. What is the track record of the first two games? Were they just cash grabs that were lowly, uh, lowly rate or not? Also, customer service, a little bit concerned here. Oh, we got backer kit. They're not helping you in the customer service. So hopefully we got some good customer service. It's for the people did they live. Okay. Okay, so it's the people grabbing the IPs. Because once again, it's, it's a way to make money. It's an easy way to, to make money. Um, let's see how highly rated these are on board game, uh, Geek. Now, I know 
And also, we're looking at the credibility here, the can you do it aspect of it. So let's make sure people got their stuff. This one, pretty sure, is not out yet. Because I remember covering, I think, earlier this year, uh, not being terribly enamored with it. October update, just a brief update uh, today to explain we are up with shipping. All the goods have arrived, have been cleared. Oh, so that's kind of cool, Ronnie Piper. Have been cleared through customs, have reached the fulfillment centers. We are just waiting on confirmation. I do like that GIF there. GIF there. GIF. I'm going to say GIF because that's what he said. That's what the creator said. He said they were GIFs, okay? I don't care how you pronounce it. That's what he said. We expect the game to start arriving, you all, early November. Cool. So they're keeping them up to date with the timeline. November, September, August. Okay. Doesn't look too bad there. Uh, good communication. Let's check it out and make sure this one is out. And let's see how highly rated this one is on Board Game Geek. They live on Sultan Cable 54. 20,000. Ow. That's not great. Once you start getting around the, say, 12, 13, 14,000 range, that means more hits, uh, more misses than hits when most people play the game. And once you're into 20,000, that's that would be where most people would just classify and say, that's. Not the greatest game, just in general. But obviously, there's exceptions to every rule. But you know, that's that's accumulation of people um, reviewing it. So hopefully, they'll come in and talk about the game designers soon. I do want to know about the game designers here. Uh, it was a efficient video. Like like I said, if they have a good price, I could see taking a flyer on it because it feels saw e. And I think if I were, and here's here's the bottom line: I'm a diehard gamer who's played thousands of games. I see that and I say, oh, it looks so crazy. If I hadn't played thousands of games, I'd be like, oh, cool. That looks like Saw. It looks like fun. The Jigsaw system is neat. So I am taking all this into effect. I don't think it was a bad video, and I don't think it was a great video. Let the game begin. How to play. Uh, Saw the Jigsaw is a two to six player. Choose your character and take their thing. Create my test. Combine cards to do the things. That's cool. Try to escape. Use search items to locate the tools you need to escape the traps. Hopefully there's a video somewhere here. Uh, very reasonable price. Wow, 55 bucks converted the currency. Good on ya. 80 bucks for the collector's edition, which comes with a whole extra box. Oh, is it just a severed hand? Is this how we're moving it? Is this how we're moving units? It's cheap. That's a cheap, not, not the hand itself is cheap. I'm saying that's a cheap move. Uh, but it's a good move. You know, at the end of the day, if you're a Saw fan, they're appealing right to their audience. And I say 80 bucks gets you this game, and it gets you this super cool hand that you could put on your bookshelf next to your Saw things forever. Just forever. They hit a collector's item in their thing, and I think that's a brilliant idea. I think that's going to move the needle, and I think that this will be the most popular pledge level. Bauer's Law will stand. I bet you that'll be the most popular budget level because as a saw fan i'm kind of like yeah that hand's pretty awesome not gonna lie love that hand so many notifications on force bgg i must have ocds because that would drive me nuts yeah it's it's screwy right now for for whatever reason board game geek will be notifying me at hours all, all hours of the day they're like your video didn't tag your video didn't tag your video because i have auto tagging on and it's just tweaking out i'll get like a hundred of them then they're over the weekend sometimes like what are you doing board game geek i need to talk to scott about it uh, i just keep forgetting so Let's look at the price. 55 bucks. We got 123 cards, 64 damage tokens, six character cards. Love of those were asymmetrical, double sided. That'd be nice. Uh, one saw token, but I don't expect that from this company necessarily. I feel like they're definitely more towards the uh, lighter, lighter weight aspect of the hobby. Not to say that in a negative way, in any stretch of the imagination. Um, it's just the impression that I get based on their games. Only available on Kickstarter. Uh, so this comes with. The Severed Hand Collectible and the game and a special slip thing. I don't know why I'll need the slip thing because I'm going to take the hand out of the box and put the hand somewhere. Um, whatever. Severed Hand Collectible, a life-size Severed Hand model to match the box art. The Severed Hand box, uh, the bottom of the Severed Hand box contains the trap blueprint from the game box. This could be used to display the hand and recreate the box art. Cool? Cool. Did, did you know that you wanted a box that doubles as a display for your severed hand? Well, you're not finding that in the, in the most recent Creature Kitchen or whatever the heck the game that is. Wow, slipcase, cool. Uh, gameplay features, stuff, things, going more to the weeds. This is all great stuff to have. I want to say that this is good stuff to have on your page, but not above a video. Not above a rule booklet. Okay, cool stuff. A lot of text. Here we go. Rule booklet. Excellent. Take a look at that. Sees. Hopefully they didn't waste the back page. Horror Movie Maniacs podcast with guests and a special introduction. So people, so the designer of a game talked to someone from, okay, cool. 
you would just so this is a full playthrough beautiful all right 96 minutes i would put this uh way up higher honestly i feel like this is way more How many cards you important to most people than a lot of this and let me let me rephrase that not necessarily that they're going to watch it but just the fact that they can watch it they know that this is a thing that has been out in the wild have people have seen this so game there was an f-bomb let's pretend like we didn't hear it board game rundown over route preview um you've got this gaping wound cool and yeah i would totally put these up higher but this is nice to have and once again they use the space over here so i can't even complain you can click down here and easily get to it however you want to shop they let you shop let's go check out that rule booklet uh contents setup looks solid okay okay this does not look bad at all pleasantly surprised and the back page with an index and this take backsies that looks great my value of a game, IP or not, is gameplay first. Agreed. Yeah, like, kind of agree. Sometimes, you know, some of those IPs. So there's some IPs that just, they have a special spot where you're like, I, you know, it's not the greatest game, but it's, it's the game for, based on this thing I love. Uh, so a preview, whatever. Uh, I played the card preview. Cool. The trailer. Is this the video? Why do we need this here? The team. Uh, and, what, and, and once again... I say that in such a like a, a tone because I still need shipping. Shipping is more important than you showing me the video that you already showed me, but showing me it again in a YouTube form. Like, that's just weird. The team, the stuff, we're going to bury shipping because that's industry standard for some god-awful reason. Also, we didn't convert the currencies. I convert the currencies down here, at least for the United States of America, at the bare minimum, because that's where the majority of the people are going to be here. 369, UK, second, 147. Know your market, uh, which... 95% of the time, if you click on a Kickstarter, uh, it's going to be more people from the United States of America than anywhere else. Uh, normally by a pretty large number. Excluding Norway. So what is it? 12 pounds. That's a pound. Yeah, look at me. I know stuff. 12 pounds. So I'm looking now at 57 pounds. So we're roughly looking around 64, 65 bucks. Very reasonable price. 263 backers. And the hand, once again... Why did it cut it off? That's kind of weird. Oh, because it's a cut off hand? Is that why? That's clever. Is that them or is that... <laughs> you know, I kind of dig that. I kind of like that right there. You might miss that one, but I like it. Um, and once again, Bowers Law stands. This is the most popular pledge level because, yeah, they, they reached into their soul and they figured out exactly what their audience would want, which most of the time is like deluxe flat box or art prints. So this time it's like a severed hand. Good for them. Um, okay. FAQ updates, comments, let's give this one a grade. I liked it a lot better than I was expecting. I will be honest with you. When will the game be coming to retail? Will there be any stretch goals? No, there will not be. We decided to focus on making the core game the best that it can be. Okay. When does this ship? When does this ship out? July 2024. Okay. I was going to say, uh, well, I wasn't going to say anything. Because, sh shut up. Will there be any stretch goals? No. Why is this a Kickstarter? Nobody cares. Well, some people do, but it's a very vocal minority. Hello, I want to play a game. Wow, we hit our goal in under 15 minutes. Thank you so much. We are passionate about tabletop gaming. So excited for this. Okay. Comments. Let's give this one a grade. I think it's going to be not not too bad. For those who are sending messages, it seems the Kickstarter message system is down at the moment. We can see they're coming in, but we don't read or reply. But press, this looks like a neat translation of the movies to a board game experience. Looking forward to playing. Yeah, I would agree. Uh, I've been a fan of the Saw franchise ever since I saw the second movie in theater years ago. Yeah, I really like that one where there's like a whole bunch of people trying to stay alive. <sighs> I think that one's so underrated. Uh, I love the movies and I've been desperate for a Saw game for all my life that involved making the trap. So when this showed up, what, yeah, and making the trap seems cool. Okay, final grade for this one. Pleasantly surprised. Do I want it? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I do want the game. And more importantly, I want the severed hand, which is totally unnecessary and dumb but fits a hundred percent and shows me that they knew their audience and they did the same thing with the thing as well if i recall correctly they had sunglasses like they had roddy piper's fancy sunglasses here or something which i feel like this just takes it up a notch um so yeah do i want it yes i feel like as a saw fan the answer is yes i feel like as a gamer the answer is maybe but there's videos there's a really solid looking rule booklet kudos good on you do i want it check mark can you do it yes you've done something before it wasn't highly rated and you didn't mention your designer at all here which scares me just a smidge bit so i do want to check the designer of this 
I'm going to guess it's no one in particular of note, because I figure they would probably spotlight that if that were the case, but it is something I want to look at personally. Uh, saw the Jigsaw Trials, Luca Melia, so CL4, so, ooh, okay. So, oh, no, that's the newest one. So a bunch of stuff that hasn't come out yet. Got it. Can you do it? I'm not the most worried it's going to physically come into your hands. However, my spidey sense is tingling that this game is not going to be exactly what you want it to be. And that you're going to immediately crave an expansion with this game. In particular, with asymmetric abilities and more cards. I wonder, I wonder, like, honestly, my first thing is, would I play this more than three times based on what is in the game? And once again, you can watch the video, though, and make that decision for yourself. But I am a bit skeptical on the can you do it. But I have high expectations because I love Saw. I do. And then how much is it? Um, very reasonable. I mean, you know, it's, it's 67 70 bucks, which... Once again, when you're when you're paying for an intellectual property game, yeah, that box maybe doesn't look like a seventy dollar game. It doesn't seem like a great price. Hard stop. But when you factor in the hand, it doesn't seem like a bad price though. Let me rephrase that. I feel like it's Kickstarter reasonable. When you factor in the hand, I think the price looks better because the hand is a very cool, unique thing that fits saw very well. It just makes sense, uh, and and that's the most popular pledge level. So the other day, I feel like we're actually in a pretty solid grade here. Some people don't read. One third of the job is writing technical instructions, and it drives me nuts. I don't like to read either. <laughs> I hate it. Um, final grade for this one. I think I'm around a C plus. Yeah, like a C plus. I think they did a really solid job. No, I think it's even better than that. B minus. Trying to think of a glaring thing. So, like what? What do I think they did really, really bad? I think the main image sucks. I think the main image definitely just does that whole "ho, oh, we have that we have that one thing you want, just throw money at us." We're not actually going to tell you any of the vital, crucial information, which I find incredibly annoying and a major pet peeve, especially when there's two to three hundred other Kickstarter projects right now that you could back, but none of those are saw. I'm going to go with B minus. I am really pleasantly surprised. Kudos to them. I honestly was expecting this to go a lot more poorly, and I think it looks like an okay game. Yeah, let me know in the comments below what's your final grade for Saw the Jigsaw Child. So once again, I think if you're not a gamer, if you're just coming here as a Saw fan, I think that bumps up easily to a B or a B plus. I think that hand, I think they sold the hand really well. It's just, uh, normally I don't like when you spring this pledge level on me without telling me what it is, but it's such a cool and unique pledge level that I think, I think you get away with it. I like the hand. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the game, and would you back the hand, or would you just get the game? I think the hand's so stinking cool. Uh, and as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Bye-bye.